Hello, it's Carrie Bradford, and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use or manipulate some of the designs. Well, you can do this in, with anything, but these are designs from the Need Directions kit. And just wanted to show you how you could manipulate some of these arrows to maybe fit more of what you were trying to um, accomplish for your page. Let's start with this first arrow right here, and I'm just going to zoom in on it. And I am going to go to my points editing and let's see if I can grab the points. And since I can't, it doesn't, it's not letting me just double click and see the points, I'm going to come down here and do make compound path. And now you can see it's turned it into a compound path that if I come over here to the points editing and double click on it, you can see I now have points. So say we want to make this arrow shorter. What we can do is we can click on these points. You can see as I hover over it, my mouse changes the the design so it's saying that this is going to select this point for me. I can hold down my shift key and come and select this one and select all of those points that make that arrow and then I can use my shift and arrow key to move it or you could just use your arrow key but it moves it very small you know in small increments. But I can just hold down my shift and arrow key and I can make it a really short arrow or bring it and make it really, you know, super long. I could just keep extending it out and out and out and it would make this really long arrow. So that's one way that you can change the size to have it fit your needs versus trying to uh, select it. And then, you know, if you go like this, then you change the context of the shape and the way that it was designed. So you don't want to do that. You want to keep it within that same relationship, but you want to maybe extend out this part. And you can do the same with something like this arrow. So I'm going to choose it, come to my points and see if I can just double click on it. And I can't, so I'm going to convert it to a path. And it's not letting me do it. Let's see what happens when I do ungroup. These are all made the same way. So <laughs> sometimes it's a matter of choosing ungroup, convert to path, make compound path. I, I don't know. I don't know why it treats some one way or some the other way. And these are just with the SVG files. If you were dealing with a DXF file, it would end up looking like this, and so then you wouldn't have to worry about it's already in those points already. It's it's in its very simplest and basic um, paths. But when you're dealing with uh, with the SVG files, that contains some of the information still coming over from the program it was created in, which is Illustrator. But again, I don't know if they're all made the same. <laughs> so I don't know if it has something to do with the fact that this has multiple pieces to it. This is a single piece. This is a one piece, but it's got a, you know, a whole inset. I don't know. Just know ungroup, convert to path or make compound path. And, and you should be able to get into these points. So blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Let's go ahead and let's make this arrow shorter. And I'm going to click on that one and click on that one. And then I'm just using my shift and my down arrow key. And now I have made this a squatty little arrow. And then say maybe I want to make this longer going this way. I can just come in here and select these points. Whoops. Come in here and select these points. Looks like there's another one right there. Make sure you get them all. And then I can just go and extend out that way. So here we've turned a tall arrow into a short, you know, wide arrow. So again, flexibility. We like flexibility. Okay, now this last one, this one I thought was really fun because while well, you could add text to any of them, the, th the thought process in my mind to, was to have this one with text. So you click on your text tool and I'm going to click in the window and then I'm going to choose a bold font. And then I am going to type, I'll just type carry. And let's just make it that way. And I'm just going to hover over here. And then I'm going to select both pieces, right click and choose weld. And now it's made up one whole piece. So that's really another very fun and unique way to take something ordinary and add your text to it. And that's that's where I had, you know, this in mind was to be able to add a word above the arrow or on the other one, it has an arrow going this way and to add text here. And then one other little quick tip is I'm going to just undo what I just did there and get rid of that text. If, if I wanted to modify the location of this arrow, 
what I can do is I can just double click on it. Well, let's grab our points. Now let's right click and do convert to path. And let's see if I can get my points. Now let's do ungroup. See, I, again, I have no idea what combination it is that requires on some of these things. Now I'm just going to go through and select my points. And now what I can do is if I want to move that to the middle, I'm just using my shift and my right arrow key and I can move it to the middle. So that just gives you another choice of, you know, play, arrow placement. Again, you're just changing uh, your the design by just moving the points within it. So that's really a fun way to um, customize it for your needs. Okay, so there you go. Just go out and have some fun with that. And thanks for stopping by.